where I'm coming from uh, in terms of health is around sort of public health and health equity. Health equity is really what I care about, um, uh, which means addressing the systemic barriers to health that affect populations or groups. Um, and I've done that in the past, or I, I've done that really through connecting people to information. That might mean connecting people to actual information. It might mean connecting them to uh, organizations, uh, services, experiences, other people. Um, and for many years, I did that primarily through adult education and public programming. For the last 18 months or so, uh, it's been more so through design. Uh, at the Dataly Institute for Global Health Research, uh, I've had to sort of characterize what I'm doing there as design because it's not exactly uh, visual communication. Uh, it's not exactly uh, human-centered design, though there are elements of both. And so knowledge design is sort of what I've come to in terms of uh, characterizing what I do at the Dataly Institute. Uh, and there are three components to it. The first one uh, are knowledge products. Uh, so that means uh, the actual thing that contains information. Uh, so that might be a, a seminar or an event such as uh, the Design Global Health Seminar uh, I ran actually just before COVID was declared a pandemic. Uh, it might take the form of a, a film, uh, such as this one uh, about the floods in Venice uh, related to climate change, uh, or it might be this uh, a website uh, such as um, uh, the COVID-19 portal that we um, put together and launched uh, that's to, whose purpose is to, to help uh, humanitarian decision makers with information. Uh, about COVID. Uh, the second piece of it are, uh, is a process. So if the first one is knowledge products, um, uh, sort of what's behind it is this inquiry process. And I know in design, we usually talk about problem solving processes. It's not exactly the most appropriate um, approach uh, in part because, you know, while we could, I could sort of frame all these in terms of problems to solve, that's not exactly what they are. Um, it's also the case that in global health, problem solving uh, approaches often looks like flying in uh, to a community, usually you know somewhere in the global south, uh, fixing a problem and flying out. It looks like uh, consultants who don't really do very deep work. Um, uh, and it looks like problem solving a problem for a community or pro solving a problem uh, for um, uh, an external partner rather than working with them. Uh, and so problem solving is not quite, um, is not necessarily the approach uh, that we always want to take. Uh, and so it's more of an inquiry process. So in the case of the seminar, that was it's a matter of a lot of reading and doing design and doing research um, that went into it. In the case of the documentary, uh, that was the result of a program we ran called the Planetary Health Film Lab, uh, in which uh, we had seven young filmmakers from all over the world fly into Toronto uh, to make these short films over five days. Uh, and so that film lab was itself the inquiry process. And then of course there was the process of designing the film lab itself, which was um, something that I did with a colleague at the Institute. Uh, and then the uh, website uh, that we actually brought in a user-centered designer um, and worked with a steering committee. So what the image that you see there, it could have been you know, wireframes and mockups. Uh, instead, that's a, a screenshot of the Excel sheet that has the, uh, the steering committee bios because it was really uh, the people that shaped uh, the process and the people that shaped uh, the final product. The final element of knowledge design is this uh, sort of framework. You know, the things that we're doing um, in terms of knowledge products, the inquiry process, they could probably be done in ways that are not exactly design. Um, and what makes it design is really this underlying uh, framework, which looks at the relationship between form, function, content, and context. Uh, and I see this as both an analytical framework that can be used to look at the, um, that final knowledge product. So whether it's a, um, an event, whether it's the film, whether it's the website, to be able to look at that as a text 
and ask questions uh, about how form, function, content, and context all align or don't within those, um, or if it's about designing the, the process, um, such as designing the, the Planetary Health Film Lab um, uh, program uh, by thinking about the form, function, content, and context uh, of that program. So that's sort of knowledge design in a, a five-minute nutshell. No, 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 no.